Wake up, shake up, get ready for church. We found the right one after a two-month search. We're the perfect family, I us, Mr. and Mrs. Pius. And we go to church in our nice little Prius. There at the potluck, there if you need us. And when the offering plate gets passed, we promise you'll see us. Look at how bad these heathens want to be us. We love our money and God we trust. Big donation means our name on the bus. Look at us, look at us. We don't go to church to worship. We go for the rush. According to an NPR report called Losing Our Religion, which interviewed more than 20 young adults, people are moving away from religion in record numbers, as most see the church, whether it's Catholic, Protestant, Muslim, Jewish, or other, as said in a set of core beliefs that many people cannot accept, such as denial of health care and autonomy to choose what is right for one's own body, or to love whomever you love, or to turn from what appears to become, more and more, a litany of guilt over grace and greed over God. Poet Clayton Jennings explores this exodus in Church Hurt and Goodbye Religion, two pieces that are ripe for our own time to choose. Wake up, hungover. My girlfriend snuck over and stayed over. There's no way I can stay sober. I push out the window and tell her I'll phone her. My mom comes busting in. My life is now over. Are you serious? Wait till I tell Pastor Steve about this. I say whatever and slide past my mom. She says we're going to church, but I'm already gone. We live two houses down from the church. My mom works in the lobby and sells their merch. Welcome to the Holy Church of Jesus the Nazarene Christ. If you donate enough money, it'll save your life. I'm trying to figure out my own. Been in and out of boys' homes ever since Dad left us alone. We ran, he ran off with the deacon's wife down the road. And this Sunday? Yeah, it's Father's Day. It's going to be awkward and odd to stay. I'm done worshiping Jesus, and I'm throwing this fit. These pastors can get lost. My dad can get hit. So look at me. What's the matter? I'm the guy four rows back getting yelled at by the pastor. Little does he know my home life is a disaster. He's telling me to repent like he knew about last night. But this is Father's Day, and that's just not right. Why can't he tell me who I am in God? Why does he always have to tell me who I'm not? So I don't get my fix from church. I get my fix from pot. I'm that kid that you avoid in the parking lot. Wake up feeling strange again. I'd be hard pressed to name a friend, except for this one girl who wants me to go to church. She wants to go to Jesus. She wants to go for Jesus. I'm just looking to flirt. The church was the last place I expected to be hurt. Pastor walks up on stage and says this. I am who God says I am. The crowd repeats the words from the man. I will walk in my worth. Man, this is turning out to be a pretty cool church. And I will stand up against sin. Okay, yeah, but this is taking a spin. And we will not tolerate wicked homosexuals in this church or in this country. Words to a lesbian, he might as well punched me. I'm that girl in the second row, slumping. Scared of getting another Bible thumping? I thought I would hear about Jesus, but all he wants to talk about is homosexuality. It felt like my skin was crawling out of me, especially when he said we aren't born this way. Are you doubting me? And you don't know how terrifying it is when you say hell was meant for me because I'm just a kid myself. But you scared me enough to never again touch that Bible on my shelf. 
I'm the guy sitting off to the side away from the crowd. I don't like to get too close to people when things get loud. My PTSD goes off and paranoia is followed by doubt. So yeah, I'm suicidal, but I'm trying to work it out. Because I'm in the chair off to the side wondering if it's worth it now. Because this pastor keeps yelling at me like he knows me. If you have all the answers, then show me. I don't want to hear about your political opinion. I don't want to be forced into being a denominational minion. I'm just looking for a little hope. Figured I'd find it here and pause on the dope. But no, I'm feeling worse. Because this pastor just said PTSD and depression is a curse. And now he's saying bipolar people are demon possessed? I didn't come here to get put on blast, pushed down, and pressed. I came here to get this hopelessness off of my chest. I grew up in church pews too. And I've experienced the same kind of hurt like a whole lot of you. So we got to choose whether we're going to continue the cycle of abuse or if we're really going to get real and just let loose. Because I'm tired of being church hurt. And I'm tired of slander like murder. And I'm tired of gossips. And I'm tired of me. God, what did you create the church to be? I read the red letters and I fell in love with the miracles in them. And I get a picture of you from the pictures portrayed in the snapshots of scripture. I wonder if Adam knew he put his lips on the fall whenever he'd kiss her. But I put my lips on the fall more times than I cared to count. And I've hung pictures of you on my wall and I stared with doubt. What's my purpose, God? What did you create me to be? I'm dying for you just to show up and say it to me. So I take this pen and this paper and I write these thoughts until I'm out of space. And I put this pen on this desk. I take a breath. And I honestly daydream about the day I get put in that casket and laid to rest. I'm only 30, but the weight of the stress pushes so hard on my chest. And sometimes it literally feels like I can't breathe. You said I've had peace and joy, but that can't be. Because I'm so sick of church politics and religious greed. I had to take back my life, like just give it to me. And this poem isn't for Harbor Shores. Pay attention so you know who these bars are for. I don't want you and I don't need you. I spent my whole life looking for you, but I still can't see you. And maybe that's because you're invisible. I hope you're enjoying heaven because down here I'm miserable. And in Sunday school they told me Jesus loves the little children. So where were you in Parkland when that gunman showed up to kill them? I guess you had the day off, didn't you Jesus? I'm doubting everything that these fake pastors feed us. You do nothing when radicals attack us and beat us. Do you even care about the way that they treat us? It's like you turned a blind eye and you don't even need us. My eyes are far from blind and I'm not turning or shutting them. I spent 30 years of my life in your book just studying. And where did that ever get me? except confused and anxious. Half of what I read fell aloof and ancient. Your holy book was written 2,000 years ago. I sat in the pews, scared as a kid, and my tears would flow. And I prayed so bad for Dad to get healed with a miracle. You turned water into wine, but in my eyes you couldn't take that water from mine. You never came to save the day. And everything Dad built for 35 years, you let double-minded men take away. And I know they'll get theirs someday. But I'd rather slit my throat than sit under another corrupt elder board Monday through Sunday. I grew up in a cult, and I got told, 
you're everything you're not. And I'm standing right in here, right now, with everything that I've got. And I don't have much to offer you. I grew up in that cult. But every one of those fakes bailed on me when I was down. A church puke kid who found out religion is nothing but a cult. When I woke up, I split from that place like Usain Bolt. And I left the wannabe elect and ran to the only thing I believed to be true. I'm here right now telling you what I need you to do. I need you to erase every memory of that place and the lies I was taught. If you want me to be strong, I can try, but I'm not. I need you to rescue me from everything I saw as a church pew kid. When you put me in that church, you curse this kid. I've been a witness to so many years of spiritual abuse. That voice of doubt, I can hear it when I lose. That voice of uncertainty, I can hear it when I choose. That voice of harassment, I dream it when I snooze. And I can't wake up. I'm the kid who grew up in the church and got hurt. A lot.